Hello friends, today let's look at the algorithm for finding out the missing number in the increasing sequence. This algorithm runs in order of log n time. So the problem statement is, given an increasing sequence of numbers from 1 to n with only one missing number, how can you find that missing number without traversing the sequence in linear fashion? For example, if the given sequence is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then as you can observe, the missing number in this sequence is 3. Similarly, for the input sequence 1, 3, 4, 5, missing number is 2. And for the input sequence 2, 3, 4, 5, missing number is 1. Note that we are not allowed to traverse the given sequence in linear fashion to find out the missing number. For example, to find out the missing number, in this sequence 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we cannot just start visiting each number and then find out the missing number. Let's now try to solve this problem. So before jumping on to the algorithm, let's first define what are the correctly placed numbers. In a sequence of numbers from 1 to n, if for number i, all the i minus 1 numbers expected to appear before it are present in the given sequence then we say that the number i is correctly placed. I know that this definition sounds a bit too long, but it's not complicated. Let's try to understand this using an example. In the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 are correctly placed. That is because there are three numbers that are expected to appear before number 4, and there are three numbers that are present. Similarly, for number 3, there are two numbers that are expected to appear before it and they are present in the sequence. On the other hand, numbers 6, 7 and 8 are incorrectly placed. Note that for number 6, there are five numbers that are expected to appear before it, but there are only four numbers in the actual sequence. Therefore, number 6 is incorrectly placed. Same is the case for number 7 and number 8. For the correctly placed numbers, we can also say that in the zero based indexing scheme, the number at index i would have value as i plus 1 if the number is correctly placed, right? So number 4 is at index 3 in the zero based indexing scheme and it has value equal to its index plus 1 that is 4. Similarly for number 3, its value that is 3 is equal to its index plus 1. Having defined correctly placed numbers, let's now look at the idea which is used by the algorithm. Notice here that the first incorrectly placed number from the left is number 6 and the missing number in this case is number 5. More generally, we can say that if the first incorrectly placed number from the left is m, then the missing number is m minus 1. In this case, m is 6 and therefore the missing number is 5. With this idea in place, now let's look at the algorithm for finding the first incorrectly placed number. The algorithm is basically a modified binary search. If the given array or sequence starts from index low and ends at index high, then we first calculate the mid index as low plus high by 2 and then check if the element at index mid is correctly placed or not. If the element at index mid is correctly placed, then what that means is that the element array of mid and all the elements to the left of the array of mid are correctly placed, right? So in this case, what we need to do is search for the first incorrectly placed number in the right half of the mid. That is, we search in the array from mid plus 1 to high. We can do that by modifying low index to mid plus 1. Now, if the element at index mid is incorrectly placed, then what we can say is that the first incorrectly placed number in the given sequence could either be array of mid or it could be located towards the left of array of mid. Therefore, we need to search for the first incorrectly placed number in the left half of the mid, right? And note that we cannot exclude the element at index mid in this case because that element could itself be the first incorrectly placed number. Therefore, if the element at index mid is incorrectly placed, 
Then we search in the array starting from index low to index mid. We can do that by modifying high index to mid, right? We repeat the search using about two steps. If at any point of time the size of the array becomes 1, then we can say that we have found the first incorrectly placed number. For more clarity, let's try to run this algorithm on an example. If the input sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, then the first iteration of our binary search will look like this. Here, low index points to element 1 and high index points to element 8. The mid element in this case would be element 4. Now we check if element 4 is correctly placed or not. We see that the element 4 is correctly placed. Therefore, the first incorrectly placed number must be in the right half of element 4, right? To continue our search in the right half, we basically modify low index to mid plus 1. That leads to our second iteration where the low index points to element 6 and high index points to element 8. In this case, the mid element would be element 7. Now we check if element 7 is correctly placed or not. We see that element 7 is not correctly placed. Therefore, what we can say is the first incorrectly placed number in the given sequence could either be element 7 or it could be placed in the left half of element 7, right? To continue our search in the left half of the element 7, including the element 7, what we do is we modify high index to mid index. That leads to our third iteration where low index points to element 6 and high index points to element 7. Now in this case, the mid element would be evaluated to element 6. We again check if the element 6 is correctly placed or not. Element 6 is not correctly placed. Using the same argument that we discussed in the second iteration, we basically modify high index to mid index. That leads to our fourth iteration where both low and high indices are pointing to element 6. If you remember from the previous slide, the base case for this binary search was that if the array size becomes 1, that is low is equal to high, we basically terminate the search and return the element as the first incorrectly placed number. In the fourth iteration, that is exactly the case. Both low and high indices are pointing to element 6. The size of array we are searching in is 1. Therefore, we terminate the search and say that the first incorrectly placed number is element 6. Once we find this first incorrectly placed number, that is number 6, we simply return 6 minus 1, that is 5, as the missing number from the given sequence. Because this is binary search, the time complexity for this approach is log n. I hope that the intuition behind this algorithm and the algorithm itself is clear now. Please let us know in the comment section if you have any queries or feedback. You can also check out our website idesire.co.in for more questions. Thank you and cheers.